All right, so I got some of these effects in Frankenstein's, and the only reason why I got them was because the guy gave me a deal at 15 bucks each. But then Sketch Alexander told me that they made bootlegs that I could get on eBay for even less than that. So I did go on eBay, and I looked around, and basically all of these ones are the bootlegs, and these things were like $12 each. And you can't tell the difference between these and the Bandai ones, and we'll do a, comp a comparison in a minute. This one is a Bandai one. I think this thing was like 17 bucks on my doorstep. But they sure do liven up the toy room a little bit, so let's check them out. So let's get this comparison out of the way. The black one is the bootleg one, and the blue one is the Bandai one. And these things are identical. You cannot tell these things apart at all. They have the same articulation joint. The quality of plastic is the same. They both have that cool, transparent look. Um, I don't really know what that says, but either way, that's on the bottom on that one. And this one has a little stamp I'm not real sure so this one has like a blue bottom not that it matters and this one kind of has a clear bottom so that's pretty much the only difference between the bootleg one and the regular one let me just check one more yeah there we go some more writing that we can't read so the comparisons out of the way let's get to it so I really didn't know what to do with this purple fire so I guess it kind of looks like magic and this was kind of the best pick that I could um, display it with. I went ahead and went with the old uh, Toy Biz Scarlet Witch. I just figured why not. She needs a little help anyways. And the other one already came with the crappy magic effect. So there she is. If you got a better suggestion for this purple fire, let me know. Alright, this blast effects is an easy one. This thing can go with pretty much any figure that can blow some shit up. And nobody can blow shit up as good as a Punisher. So I went ahead and went with him. And I went with this uh, alternate jigsaw. I normally don't display these two kind of toys together, but this is a perfect situation. And then back here, I went ahead and put the old Toy Biz stand to put him up there. And then also on this uh, effect base. Hold on, that uh, didn't really work out very well. On this base, this thing is three pieces. And I didn't like it as three pieces. It comes with this hole in the back, but you got to buy the the stand separate, which is like another ten dollars to plug in that thing to barely set on top of these other two things. And I, I, I didn't like that, so I drilled the hole bigger for this stand back here. Will work for it, but I didn't really like that either. So I just went ahead and took these three pieces, got some crazy glue, crazy glued them together, and now it's done. But it looks really good like that. All right, now these fire ones that actually look like fire, like the yellow one, the orange one, the red one, I could actually use a few more of these because after looking at this, like there's so many fire related characters in my collection and pretty much every single one of them needs something like this. Like this just makes this toy look way better, man. Like he just like you put him on the shelf and he really pops. All right, so whenever people ask me what my favorite part of my collection is, it's these old Toy Biz Marvel Legends. Like, these these are some of the best toys that I have. Like, they can try to remake all these characters, but they can't remake these toys because these toys are toy perfection. Like, look at these things. They're their own mold. They got actions. They come with bases. These orange, weird-looking things shoot out like missiles. Now check this out. I don't know if you guys have one of these or not. If you don't, get your ass on eBay and get one. I don't care if they're making another one because it won't be as good as this one. So there's a button on his back. You push a button, he lights up, and then his head spins. So he has three heads in there. Hope I didn't just break it. All right, here we go. And he lights up and spins at the same time. Like this, action figure perfection, my friend. And he definitely deserves a base like this. Alright, I can't remember if this is supposed to be the yellow flame or the orange flame. 
I'm thinking this might be the yellow one and then the red one is really red. But this thing, man, like I didn't know to put this on Human Torch, Ghost Rider, like there's just tons of good options for this one. All right, so this effect I was like on the fence about, like they make it in a few different colors and I didn't really know who to display it with. I just went ahead and went with the Gambit just because of the pink and the purple kind of matched. I don't know, if you got a better suggestion for this one, let me know because I went through the toy room for a minute and didn't really find anybody that kind of matched. I mean, it looks alright with him, but I don't really feel like I'm getting my money's worth out of this one. So that's the last one that I have. I actually have some more in the mail. We'll check those out when I get them. Thanks for watching.